Hola. Join me on Entrada as we wander the streets of Guanajuato, Mexico to discover its beauty and unique charm. We'll see its history unfold in murals, sample the sweetest homemade traditions, tour an ancient silver mine, and learn the secrets of the enchilada. and we're in Guanajuato, Guanajuato, in central Mexico. The city is home to one of the world's largest silver and gold mines that has sustained its people for centuries. And it was here that Mexico's movement of independence began, when Father Miguel Hidalgo and his revolutionaries fought the Spanish army. Let's take a look at the map and see where we are. Mexico is America's neighbor to the south. Guanajuato state lies in the country's colonial heartland. Its capital, Guanajuato, has a small population of 120,000. It's nestled in the silver-rich Sierra de Guanajuato Mountains, 250 miles northwest of Mexico City. We'll visit Guanajuato, learn about its people, art, and culture, tour the Don Quixote Museum, cook enchiladas mineras, and make my favorite Mexican dish. This is a beautiful city. It's easy to soak in the rich history. All you have to do is look around. Guanajuato is in fact a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Colorful colonial buildings, narrow winding walkways, alleys with balconies close enough to steal kisses across. And if that isn't enough to lure you, there's culture on every corner. Like these wandering student minstrels in striking 17th century costumes. The minstrels sometimes serenade visitors with Guanajuato's stories of romance and intrigue. As I continue my journey, I can see other examples of a joyfully preserved past. Have you noticed what's missing? That's right, no neon signs, no cars, no traffic lights. To get to the bottom of this mystery, we have to go underground. An ingenious maze of tunnels keeps cars out of the historic city center. Underground Street, opened in the late 1950s, follows the bed of the old Guanajuato River that used to run through the middle of the city. Constant severe flooding forced planners to divert its course. And in 1976, the last drainage tunnel was finished and the city core preserved. Back above ground, I'm off to meet our chef at the Mercado Hidalgo. It's a massive iron frame building, and it's crammed to the sky-lit ceiling with goods of every kind. It's a cornucopia of traditional Mexican ingredients. There's no better place to shop for tonight's meal. This is where we're buying the tortillas and the cheese for today's enchiladas, which are called mineras. And this is Carmen Granadas from Pasada de Santa Fe. Qué bueno. ¿Cuántos necesitamos? How much? Mmm, queso ranchero. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuántas tortillas necesitamos? How many? Una docena. Una docena, por favor. This is going to be fun putting these enchiladas together. <laughs> Gracias. ¿Qué más necesitamos? What more do we need? Un poco de vegetales okay. para las enchiladas. Muy bien. We're off to buy vegetables. Gracias. Vamos a comprar jitomate. Jitomates? Uh -huh. Medio kilo? Medio kilo está bien. ¿Qué Muy más? Rico. Papas. Potatoes. Zanahoria. Carrots. Chile ancho para guisar. Chile anchos, wide chilies for color and taste, but they're not spicy. Y ajo, garlic? Ajo. 
Cebolla. Cebolla, ajo. And white onions. Cominos. Cumin. Oh, me encanta el cumino. Okay. Cumin. Bueno. ¿Sabes qué? Me encantan los aguacates. I love avocados. ¿Podemos hacer un rico guacamole? ¿Sí? Sí, claro. He says we can make a nice guacamole. Muy bien. Pero para eso hay que comprar un poco de cilantro oh. y chile serrano. We need fuego de guacamole, cilantro, and chile serrano to make it a little spicy. Qué bueno. ¿Sabes qué? Bueno. Vas a ir al restaurante? Sí. Okay. Carmen's going to go to the restaurant and I'm going to go explore more of this charming city. Nos vemos en un rato. Claro. Gracias. Dios. Guanajuato's quaint alleyways are always packed with people. There's a sense of celebration in the air. Vendors sell refreshments and souvenirs to passers-by. Children run and laugh and play. Grown-ups sip cool fruit drinks. It makes me want to join in on the fun. And what better way than in the festive atmosphere of an authentic Mexican candy shop? This is great. Hola, Teresa. Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Bienvenida. Gracias. This is my friend Teresa, and she owns La Dulceria La Catrina, and we're here to try some sweets. ¿Cuántas variedades de dulces tienes aquí? How many eh, varieties of sweets do you have here? Más de 200 variedades. No me digas. Sí, claro que sí. More than 200. Incredible. Sí. Bueno, ¿y qué? ¿De dónde vienen todo? ¿Lo, lo, lo haces tú? Eh, ¿To make everything yourself? Bueno, tenemos lo que es de aquí local, el sí. dulce artesanal, que es esto. Ah, o sea, bueno. nuestros dulces de Guanajuato. Oh, they're traditional sweets from Guanajuato. Ajá, y tenemos de diferentes partes de la República. Ah, Mexicana, seguro. claro. Of course, and others come from different parts of the Mexican Republic. The confections housed here are enough to satisfy even the most demanding sweet tooth. And they're all natural. You can buy candied fruit, spicy cinnamon treats, mouth-watering caramel, extra sweet nougat, chewy macaroon and no guanajuato fiesta would be complete without the local specialty yemitas sweets wrapped in tissue paper traditionally handed out at baptisms and first communions all around the state oh now i get to try oh Oh, Terry, it's very good. It's a good product. Pumpkin seeds with miel. With honey. Qué rico. Mm. Up next on Entrada, Guanajuato's precious silver mines. My walk through Guanajuato continues with a tour of Alhandiga de Granaditas. In a city filled with historic monuments, this is the most important. This was the scene of the first real battle in the long war of independence. It was here that the Spanish, totally outnumbered, shut themselves up in search of safety. Little did they know they would never see the sun again. Today, strolling through the echoing halls of the fortress, their final hours are depicted in the brilliant, powerful murals lining the walls. Painted by Guanajuato artist Chavez Morado, they bring local history alive. Here you can follow Hidalgo, the father of independence, and his attacking troops. They were little more than ragged laborers armed with sticks and sickles, but they were smart. They set fire to the massive wooden doors and broke inside and overwhelmed the Spanish. However, it was a short-lived victory. Hidalgo was tracked down by the royalists and executed. His head and those of his three chief co-conspirators were suspended from the four corners of the Alhandiga as a warning. It took 10 more years, but independence was finally won and Guanajuato headed off into an entirely new direction. And so do we. 
to the restaurant to help Carmen prepare tonight's meal. Hola, Carmen. Hola, Ruana. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Qué bueno. Tu guacamole. Imagínate. How nice is that? He's making guacamole for me. And here are the ingredients. Avocados. Cilantro. Chile serrano. Chile serrano. Cebolla. Onions and tomato, finely chopped. Sal. Salt. Limón. Lime. Never lemon. And nacho chips. Or you can use tortillas. Whichever you prefer. Bueno, let's get started. I'm going to help out. And we're going to empty the avocado shell with a spoon. Just spoon it right out. And this way, the spoon's great because then you can take the meat right off the, the peel. Now, when you're choosing your avocados, make sure they're soft, but not too soft because they may be bruised. And if your avocado is brown inside, it's not good to use. Using two spoons to mash the avocados, you're then ready to add the other ingredients. And I will help out doing so. Tomatoes, onions, chili serranos, bolos. Uh -huh. Poco. Oh. Poco. Oh. <laughs> I was about to add all of them. Whoops, that would have been a little too hot. Yeah. Now, chili serranos are very picante. Así? Sí, está bien. bien. O quieres más? No. Un poquito más. Un poquito más. All right, we'll compromise. Está bien. <laughs> and the cilantro. Sí. Muy bien. Todo. Todo, sí, seguro. Sí, sí. A little bit of salt. No. And the limes. Now, I really like adding lime to a guacamole. It thins out the avocado and it really adds a nice tang to the flavor. For those of you at home who thought guacamole was hard to make, it isn't. It's very easy. It's a little long in prep time, just chopping the tomatoes and onions. And that's it. Ya listo? Listo. Que bueno. I'm going to go and continue exploring Guanajuato before I eat this wonderful meal. Y nos vemos prontísimo para la segunda parte de la receta. Claro que sí, Joana. Adios. Gracias. The hills around Guanajuato hold the key to its early wealth, silver. That precious metal flows deep below the earth in veins rich enough to build a magnificent city. Guanajuato's Valenciana mine was one of the richest silver finds in history. In the 18th century, this mine alone accounted for two-thirds of the world's silver production. I've met with Jesus, one of the cooperative owners, who is showing me how the mine works today over 500 years after it first opened. There are 70 active tunnels at the Valenciana mine, and they are more than a third of a mile below the surface. Miners still travel to its depths every day in search of silver and gold. As they return blinking into the sunlight, other workers load trucks with unrefined silver destined to become jewelry and other precious artifacts. Up next on Entrada, the man from La Mancha Museum. London has the Sherlock Holmes Museum, Prince Edward Island, the Anne of Green Gables, and Guanajuato pays tribute to Cervantes' famous fictional hero. We're at the Don Quixote Museum, the only museum in the world which is dedicated to this legendary character. And we're going to visit different artists' interpretations of this legend. And this is Pan Paco Santoyo, who's our tour guide. Bueno, ¿y dónde quieres empezar? Where would you like to start? Bien, vamos a continuar por este lado. Perfecto. The museum houses
houses an impressive collection of art relating to the hero of La Mancha and his trusty sidekick, Sancho Panza. The pair dream the impossible dream in poses, romantic and sentimental, impressionistic, kitschy and downright silly. There are paintings by several famous Mexican artists, and ones by Salvador Dali and Pablo Picasso have put the museum's collection on the map. The scale of the artwork ranges from the huge to the microscopic. The Pièce de Résistance is a room-sized mural. But delicate porcelains, miniature bronze figures, and tiny icons also draw the eye and feed the imagination. Wonderful. Back at Posado Santa Fe, Carmen has begun preparing the ingredients for tonight's enchiladas. Hola Carmen. Hola Ruana. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Ocupado. Bastante. You've been busy. Que bueno, ¿qué estamos haciendo hoy? Vamos a preparar las enchiladas mineras. Enchiladas mineras. Now this is a traditional Guanajuato dish which was served to the workers in the silver mines. And what it is are tortillas stuffed with cheese, served with chicken and vegetables in a special adobo sauce. Bueno, here are the ingredients. Pollo. Pollo. Chicken. Papa. Boiled potatoes. Zanahoria. Boiled carrots. Lechuga. Lettuce. Onions. Tomatoes. Chicken. And jalapeños, Jalapeño. which forms a salad. El queso ranchero, queso ranchero that we bought today, the cheese. Tortillas. And the tortillas. And here we have the adobo sauce. Now this is a finished version. To make the sauce, these are the ingredients. Cebolla. White onion. Sal. Salt. Chile ancho para guisar. White chilies. Cominos. Cumin seeds. Ajos. And garlic. We're going to start by making the adobo sauce. In boiling water, place the chilies, white onion, and garlic, followed by the cumin seeds and salt. This will now boil for 15 minutes. The next step is to put the ingredients in the blender. The chef's tip, let the ingredients cool down before you liquefy, otherwise they'll explode from the heat. Next step, strain the sauce. So a little bit of oil. ¿Qué que va primero? El pollo. Vamos a freír el pollo. First the chicken. Now any part of the chicken is is used. Zanahoria, carrots. Now the nice thing about this is that when this is ready, we're going to push it on the side in order to be able to add the sauce in the middle to fry the tortillas in. ¿Y por cuánto tiempo hacemos esto? Dos minutos, un minuto. Exacto, this is like Rápido. a minute thing. And it's basically just to give it some taste and to heat it up. A little bit of salt to taste. Mm -hmm. Dejamos dorar un poquito. Exacto. Y le damos vuelta. A little bit of browning. Mm. Time to dip the tortillas. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Make sure to wear an apron for this. Flip the tortillas, 10 seconds on each side. Then you add the cheese. Muy bien. Y a continuación las doblamos. Then roll them. Bueno, ya está listo. Tenemos listas las enchiladas únicamente para prepararlas en el platón, servirlas y deliciosas. <laughs> Muy bien. It's ready to serve and we're going to have dinner in a very special place tonight. I'm going to get ready. Y te veo prontísimo. Claro. Muy bien. Gracias, ¿ah? ¿eh? Nos vemos.
Up next on Entrada, Enchiladas Mineras, Guanajuato style. Mi corazón, sus corazones son, lo sé que me, me faltan, me hacen mucha falta, pero ¿qué puedo hacer? Claro. ¿Y son grandes? Sí, nueve años. ¿Comen mucho de esto? Ah, ¿eh? ¿No me eh, mentís? Sí. Pues, o sea, sí, muy rico. Enchiladas mineras, riquísimo. de aquí de la casa. Buenas tardes, ¿y bien, Rona? Hola, Carmen. Riquísimo. ¿Has probado el guacamole? Riquísimo. Por favor, prueba. You must try this. And so do you. Here are the recipes. For the guacamole, remove avocado from peel. Mash with two spoons. Add the rest of the ingredients and mix until smooth. Serve with nachos or tortillas. Chef's tip. Keep the color bright by leaving the pit in the guacamole until ready to serve. To make the adobo sauce for Carmen's enchiladas, boil sauce ingredients for 15 minutes. Let cool, blend, and strain. Fry the chicken, carrots, and potatoes in oil for a minute or so. Dip the tortillas in the adobo sauce and fry for 10 seconds on each side. Add cheese and roll. Serve with salad. Así, ahí, no pica. Quiero tomar esta oportunidad para decirles gracias por su hospitalidad y su generosidad. Gracias. Thank you for your hospitality and generosity. It's been wonderful being in the Posada Santa Fe. No, eh, todas las veces que quieras, esta es tu casa. Ay, gracias. Sí, por supuesto. I've been invited back whenever I want to come. How wonderful. Guanajuato has been a wonderful experience. And what a charming city. The art, the history, definitely worth coming back to. Salud. 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 Venga, bandero! Keep on.